Hello fellow bookquesters, it is I, Aaron the Bookquester. So today, I have these two books, Divergent and Insurgent, both by Veronica Roth, both great books. The, this is the first book, Divergent, it says, One Choice Can Transform You. And this one says, One Choice Can Destroy You. Well, you'll find out what that means, and I'll tell you my theories of what I think these two lines means. But, well, the truth is you just have to know by yourself. I'll go on with Divergent, Divergent first. So, so it starts with the main character named Beatrice. And in her world, there are factions, and these are groups of people who think alike. For example, the Dauntless. They value the small acts of bravery. They are they are honorable and they protect the people. Those are the Dauntless. And maybe the Erudite who crave for knowledge and get knowledge for the greater good. And there are a couple other factions like Candor and and the faction that Beatrice is originally from. And on the day, on the day when she turns 16, she gets to choose which sec, which frack faction she can decide to go in. She can decide to go in either. She can decide to go, go in Dauntless, Erudite, or go back to her original faction. But the thing is, in the simulation test, when when she found out which factions she could go into, it was found out that she was divergent. What did that mean? That meant that di that she was divergent, and she could belong in more than one faction. For example, in in the simulation, if what there was a dog, and if without thinking about it, if the person killed the dog with a knife. Then he or she belongs in Dauntless for she, his or his or her bravery. But if you're an, uh, if you're smart, you know that if you kneel in front of the dog and don't meet its eyes, it will prod over you and it will just like know that it, it won you and it won't hurt you any farther. And that is intelligent thing to do, which means that you belong in. And erudite. So, yeah, that's it. But, divergence, it's very hard. It's very dangerous for a person to be divergent. And if you are divergent, it's a real dent in a plan. A plan, very important plan. A plan of rebellion of the erudites. The thing is, abnegation, that's the faction that controls the government, they are in control. They they are the mains, but they are the least selfish, and they 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 can't be selfish, and they have to really selfless, and they can't show like look cool and stuff. They have to wear great clothes and basically look boring, and they can't even look at look in their mirrors for a long time. And erudite, they wanted to overthrow the government for a long time. And now that plan is taken into action. Meanwhile, Beatrice, she chose Dauntless over abnegation where she was born. She went to Dauntless and she became Triss, a daring, a daring fighter. And she's trained to shoot a gun, win a fight, and she sees that Dauntless isn't what it used to be. It used to be. We... We honor the ordinary act of bravery, but now they fight. They they hurt each other while they're training. If they're angry, they even kill. What is wrong with the Dauntless? And while that the Dauntless is being corrupted from inside out, Erudite is is making their serums, and they are planning to mind control the Dauntless and make them destroy the government. But the Divergents are their only 
their only problem, the theorems, the mind control thingies, they don't work on the divergence, which is why that they were a problem in the first place. And so, the conflict begins. Chris and her newfound friend, friend Four, who they have a quite a bit of a romantic, romantic, romantic relationship with, could they win and use their divergence and destroy the erudite's plan? Well, that's what this book is about. Second book, Insurgent, also a great book, and also by Veronica Roth. This one says one choice can destroy you. So, I, I, I said I was going to tell you what I, my speculations are for this line. Well, for one choice can transform you, I think the choice that you make when you think of which faction you're going to go to, the choice. That one choice can transform you. Beatrice used to be a shy girl who didn't say anything, and in Dauntless, she's a Fierce warrior maiden, and she can do anything, and she became quite rude, too. So, like, that's an entire transforming. It's like a different person. So I think that's the choice that can transform you. Now, an insurgent. Um, for the one choice can destroy you, I think it means that um, the choice that Beatrice made to, dist to fight... Uh, to fight Will, one of her best friends was mind controlled, and she accidentally killed Will. And that choice totally destroyed her from the inside. I think this is the most least likely of my two theories, but it's the only thing I can think of for sorry. And yeah, let's get on to the story. I'm gonna make it simple. So basically, <sighs> the war is going on, and the Triss and the uh, loyal Dauntless. She managed to destroy the simulation, the mind control machine in book one. The, the loyal Dauntless, the ones who still follow their own faction, they have retreated and they're looking for a chance to strike back. And the hidden key is the factionless. The huge number of factionless who used to be unorganized and begging for food. But now, after the abnegation started to give them food and clothes, they became organized and they began to look for a chance to strike back at the factions that abandoned them. And so the Dauntless find the, an ally, an ally to defeat Erudite. But is that for the good or not? What does the factionless really want? It's a suspenseful book full of action, romance, and all the stuff we all love. And like always, your book quester Erin the book quester really great book guys you can expect this book next bye guys